What's happening hardscapers? Day six on this project. Let me show you what we've got going here. We've got one, two, three, four of our steps. Gotta build up this one more layer here. Four steps done today. Little nice curve coming into this step here. Let me walk you around. So today wasn't as productive as I hoped, but here's what we got done. We ended about here yesterday with this wall getting done and essentially the walkway is meant to be three feet steps are four foot caps especially with the window well coming out we needed at least four foot steps coming up to that because that's going to shorten a little bit there it'll go to about three foot steps so here i wanted to get a nice curve coming into those four foot steps because it's going to slowly curve up into the steps up there so nice little curve tying this into up there where this will gently curve into that top walkway now these steps gave me some troubles because i wanted to have a nice little walkway at these steps where we're not too far off grade we wouldn't need a retaining wall to retain it unfortunately you can see the waterproofing of the wall here starts there so i needed to step it up to cover that and then it doesn't make sense to have a walkway there so I stepped it up again. What I ended up doing is going to plan B which was measuring my step treads to get to the edge of that window well so 16, 16, 16, 16 just to make sure that this final step tread comes into contact with this window well and then we can start our three foot step tread there and move our way up back to four foot step treads once we're packed past this window well make a nice gentle curve out of it that was plan b and that's how we went with that we are a little bit higher than i wished above grade here so this is actually going to be another six seven eight inches higher here and after we grade this, it's gonna be about 6, 12, 14 inches off the grade, which is fine. Just not my favorite. Would have wanted this a little bit shorter, which would have meant a step with a run and then a step, which would have got us to this level here and then a step which would have got us to here again another six is inches on top of this is this step we would have been at eight inches above grade but we will be closer to 14 with that but we gotta work with what we got here with that waterproofing as you can see down there gotta hide that gotta make this look nice and that's what we're doing i also wasn't super productive only getting four steps i wanted to get seven steps in and be focusing on backfilling paving tomorrow it just didn't work out that way with how my calculations were going and how fuzzy my head was to be able to complete those calculations so we got four steps in we're going to do three steps hopefully tomorrow and start to backfill backed get ready for pavers it is what it is some days are more productive than others this is a little bit tricky with the steps so when i'm measuring my steps the grade dictates where we're going to be and how many steps we need and we can fudge the step rise numbers a little bit we ended up with six and five eighths and these units are six inches plus the two inch caps so i'll show you what we needed to do here essentially each step needs to be three eighths of an inch higher so it's not like each of these are intertwined with one another instead they are separate units and this is three eighths of an inch higher so that we can get six and five eighths here after that two inch cap comes in so this is going to be two inch cap which means we've got uh so this is going to be two inch cap, less than three eighths of an inch, which would mean one and five eighths of an inch. And just to get us to six and five eighths of an inch, even I can't think this through and talk this through right now, but 
with all this, we're gonna have six and five eighths of an inch rise in our steps up. For all my GeoGrid lovers up there, we got GeoGrid running through and we'll have it in each layer of this wall. Helps strengthen, stabilize the aggregate that we put on top of it, just making this so much more solid. So what I do to measure this is I will zero out this point and that is top of walkway with that cap there. And then I can go up to top of walkway up here. See my measurement. So let's say it's 46 and a half. 46 and a half divided by seven gives us about six and five eighths there. Now I could have played with this wall height to be able to get the perfect, like whatever step height that I really wanted to because ultimately this wall dictates my zero point up to my top wall. My top wall is already tied into the driveway so driveway sets the height of that top wall. This wall was dictated also by this waterproofing here because we need to get above that. So this wall's height was dictated for me that wall's height up there was dictated to me. So we're just trying to find that level from this one to the top one and dividing how many steps that we want to install to give us our step treads. And then we can fudge that number a little bit, add a step, subtract a step, whatever that might look like. So if this is zero, essentially this will have a two inch cap on it. So this would be four and five eighths. Good there. And then this one would be uh, four and five eighths plus six and five eighths. So 10, 11 and a quarter. We're good there. Well, that's it for day six on this project. I don't know what was going on with me today. I just could not wrap my head around the math in those steps. And even while I was explaining it to you here, I was just almost second guessing myself on those step heights. But I double checked them when the camera was off, showed you them on the high precision altimeter just to double check myself that I've got them correct because that would suck. But typically I'm, my production rate on a step in a situation like this not like a front step or something that's a little bit easier but on a slope especially for a walkway like this my production rate is somewhere around one hour per step in this case i was somewhere around two two hours a step so evidently i just could not i don't know what was up today but I uh, count my blessings and just always remember that, you know what, things are good right now. There's more than enough work, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't have employees right now, which is a little bit of a concern, but I am enjoying this going back to being a one-man show for now. A uh, little enjoyment out of it. I get to listen to whatever I want, whenever I want. And you know what, I've got great clients here and they seem to be loving the work and they are really happy to have me, so that's always good. If you like this vlog series, please give this video a like, comment below things that you wanna see in the future, or any questions or comments in general that you have, leave in the comment section. I respond to anybody and everybody that leaves a comment, and I really do appreciate that. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for more hardscaping content. Thank you so much for watching.